I'm Gene Brody. I'm co-director of the Center for Family Research at the University of Georgia. Um, I actually started the Center for Family Research in 1984, and I'm so proud of it and all its accomplishments. I'm trained as a developmental psychologist with a minor in clinical child psychology and put those worlds together to approach the kinds of questions I ask and uh, the training I provide for students. Right now, we're, we're taking our research on these protective caregiving processes and are looking at do they impact brain development in children and adolescents? Um, and can participation in prevention programs erase the effects of poverty on children's brains? And in some recent studies, we found that the answer to both those questions is yes that young people who at age 11 participate in prevention programs which enhance the quality of caregiving they receive and the levels of communication in the family and who grow up in poverty are not affected by poverty whereas the neurodevelopment of young adults who grew up in poverty and did not participate in these prevention programs, unfortunately, were affected by poverty. So we're, we're moving our research from under the skin to in the brain. Clearly, the most exciting thing about our research is that we've taken basic science on how caregiving processes protect children for years and years and years and we've translated them into prevention programs which have the same effect and promote the development of these young people growing up in challenging circumstances. It's shown that these programs really work and now we have the opportunity and are embedding them in communities across the nation. Um, for example, this last December, I was up in Harlem where we were asked to go up there and train 24 social service agencies on our programs that are now being delivered to families in Harlem. And that's very satisfying. I've been a member of OIBR since 1980. It's a long time. And during that time, OIBR has applauded the successes of the Center for Family Research, supported the Center for Family Research, has been there during challenging times, and if it weren't for the support of OIBR, we wouldn't have experienced the successes that we have, and I'm very grateful for OIBR.